find all pairs integers, a and b, such that, ax to the power of 17, plus bx to the power of 16, plus 1, is divisible by x squared, minus x minus 1. Because x squared, minus x minus 1, divides ax to the power of 17, plus bx to the power of 16, plus 1, so we let, ax to the power of 17, plus bx to the power of 16, plus 1, equal p of x, times x squared, minus x minus 1, where p of x, is a polynomial of degree 15. Let u and v, be the roots of the quadratic equation, x squared, minus x minus 1, equals 0. By Vieta's formulas, we know that, u plus v equals 1, and u times v equals negative 1. Then from polynomial factorization identity 1, we know that, u and v are also the roots of equation, ax to the power of 17, plus bx to the power of 16, plus 1, equals 0. Substitute u and v into the equation, we have a system of equations. a and b can be worked out by solving this system of equations. Multiply equation 2 by v to the power of 16, and multiply equation 3 by u to the power of 16, we have, a times u to the power of 17, times v to the power of 16, plus b times u to the power of 16, times v to the power of 16, equals negative v to the power of 16. And a times u to the power of 16, times v to the power of 17, plus b times u to the power of 16, times v to the power of 16, equals negative u to the power of 16. We know that, u times v equals negative 1. So u to the power of 16, times v to the power of 16, equals uv all to the power of 16, which is equal to 1. So the system of equations becomes, a u plus b equals negative v to the power of 16. And a v plus b equals negative u to the power of 16. Subtract equation 5 from equation 4, we have, u minus v times a, equals u to the power of 16, minus v to the power of 16. Divide the equation by u minus v, we have, a equals u to the power of 16, minus v to the power of 16, over u minus v. Subtract u times equation 5, from v times equation 4, we have, negative u minus v times b, equals u to the power of 17, minus v to the power of 17. Divide the equation by negative u minus v, we have, b equals negative u to the power of 17, minus v to the power of 17, over u minus v. The numerator, u to the power of 16, minus v to the power of 16, can be factorized and written as, u to the power of 8, plus v to the power of 8, times u to the power of 8, minus v to the power of 8. u to the power of 8, minus v to the power of 8, can be factorized and written as, u to the power of 4, plus v to the power of 4, times u to the power of 4, minus v to the power of 4. u to the power of 4, minus v to the power of 4, can be factorized and written as, u squared plus v squared, times u squared minus v squared. And u squared minus v squared, equals u plus v, times u minus v. u minus v in the denominator, and that in the numerator cancel. So a equals u to the power of 8, plus v to the power of 8, times u to the power of 4, plus v to the power of 4, times u squared plus v squared, times u plus v u squared plus v squared, can be written as, u plus v all squared, minus 2 uv. We know that, u plus v equals 1, and u times v equals negative 1. So u squared plus v squared, equals 1 minus 2 times negative 1, which is equal to 3. Similarly, u to the power of 4, plus v to the power of 4, can be written as, u squared plus v squared all squared, minus 2 u squared, v squared, which is equal to, 3 squared, minus 2 times 1, which is 7. And u to the power of 8, plus v to the power of 8, can be written as, u to the power of 4, plus v to the power of 4 all squared, minus 2 u to the power of 4, times v to the power of 4, which is equal to, 7 squared, 
minus 2 times 1, which is 47. So A equals 47 times 7, times 3 times 1. 47 times 3, equals 141. So A is equal to, 141 times 7, which is 987. The numerator, U to the power of 17, minus V to the power of 17, can be factorized and written as, U minus V, times U to the power of 16, plus U to the power of 15 times V, plus U to the power of 14 times V squared, plus so on, plus U squared times V to the power of 14, plus U times V to the power of 15, plus V to the power of 16. U minus V in the numerator, and that in the denominator cancel. So B equals negative U to the power of 16, plus U to the power of 15 times V, plus U to the power of 14 times V squared, plus so on, plus U squared times V to the power of 14, plus U times V to the power of 15, plus V to the power of 16. The first term plus the last term, is equal to, U to the power of 16, plus V to the power of 16. The second term plus the last second term, is equal to, U to the power of 15 times V, plus U times V to the power of 15, which can be written as, U V times U to the power of 14, plus V to the power of 14. The third term plus the last third term, is equal to, U to the power of 14 times V squared, plus U squared times V to the power of 14, which can be written as, U squared times V squared, times U to the power of 12, plus V to the power of 12. The three middle terms are, U to the power of 9, times V to the power of 7, plus U to the power of 8, times V to the power of 8, plus U to the power of 7, times V to the power of 9. U to the power of 9, times V to the power of 7, plus U to the power of 7, times V to the power of 9, can be written as, U to the power of 7, times V to the power of 7, times U squared plus V squared. Then plus the middle term, U to the power of 8, times V to the power of 8. We can see that, the terms contain items, U times V, U squared, times V squared, and so on, U to the power of 7, times V to the power of 7, U to the power of 8, times V to the power of 8. These items can be written as, U V all to the power of K, where K is from 1 to 8. As U times V is equal to negative 1. So U V all to the power of K, equals 1, if K is even, or negative 1, if K is odd. So B equals negative U to the power of 16, plus V to the power of 16, plus U to the power of 14, plus V to the power of 14, minus U to the power of 12, plus V to the power of 12, plus so on, plus U squared plus V squared, minus 1. We can see that, there are terms, U to the power of 2K, plus V to the power of 2K, where K is from 1 to 8. We have already known that, U squared plus V squared, is equal to 3. U to the power of 4, plus V to the power of 4, is equal to 7. And U to the power of 8, plus V to the power of 8, is equal to, 47. U to the power of 6, plus V to the power of 6, can be written as, U to the power of 4, plus V to the power of 4, times U squared plus V squared, minus U squared, times V squared, times U squared plus V squared which is equal to 7 times 3, minus 3, which is equal to 18. Similarly, U to the power of 10, plus V to the power of 10, can be written as, U to the power of 8, plus V to the power of 8, times U squared plus V squared, minus U squared, times V squared, times U to the power of 6, plus V to the power of 6, which is equal to 47 times 3, minus 18 which is equal to, 123. U to the power of 12, plus V to the power of 12, can be written as, U to the power of 10, plus V to the power of 10, times U squared plus V squared, minus U squared, times V squared, times U to the power of 8, plus V to the power of 8, which is equal to, 123 times 3, minus 47, 
which is equal to 322 u to the power of 14 plus v to the power of 14 can be written as u to the power of 12 plus v to the power of 12 times u squared plus v squared minus u squared times v squared times u to the power of 10 plus v to the power of 10 which is equal to 322 times 3 minus 123 which is equal to 843 u to the power of 16 plus v to the power of 16 can be written as u to the power of 14 plus v to the power of 14 times u squared plus v squared minus u squared times v squared times u to the power of 12 plus v to the power of 12 which is equal to 843 times 3 minus 322 which is equal to 2207 we have worked out all values of u to the power of 2k plus v to the power of 2k where k is from 1 to 8 so b equals negative 2207 plus 843 minus 322 plus 123 minus 47 plus 18 minus 7 plus 3 minus 1 which is equal to negative 1597 so a b equal 987 negative 1597 is the only solution